Hey guys, welcome back to NB Edit. So today, Aaron and I are up here in the Northwoods. We're gonna be going for some panfish, some really, really big panfish. That's the goal today. So the first lake that we stopped at that we're gonna be checking out today is a little old lake, pretty much looks completely private. We did a little bit of research on it and it turns out that there's a little sliver of public land. Now what we did to find that let me go on my phone here quick. You download an app, it's called Onyx Hunt. This is not a sponsored video. It's just an app that is very, very useful for you guys that are looking for really good lakes that you think are private, but actually aren't. So as you can tell with this, this is where we are, that blue little dot is where we're at. And you can see that all of the different names of the people that own property around this lake. And right there, that brown little sliver, that is public land. Now if you look behind me, this is the public land. As you can tell, uh, it doesn't look public at all. There are no signs, there are no trails. So you would never know unless you were using that app. And uh, we actually did a good deed and we went up to this house over here and just made sure with the people, let them know that we are gonna be not trespassing, but we're gonna be walking through their property, kinda. It looks like we're walking through their property to this lake. So we just wanted to let them know that we're gonna be doing that. They gave us the okay anyways, said uh, go catch them all in this lake. So that's what we're gonna try to do, but not keep them, we're gonna be releasing them. So we're gonna get our stuff, we're gonna walk through the woods here, we're gonna see if we can pound some fish on this so-called private lake. So stay tuned, you guys aren't gonna wanna miss this. Okay guys, so we made it out onto the lake. As you can tell, there is not a single sign of anybody being out here. We are the first ones, I believe, to be ice fishing this lake. Mainly because, yeah, everybody's probably old around it and everybody thinks that it's private. So that's probably why we're the first ones. So first thing I notice, there's no map on this lake. So looking at the shorelines around, all very steep. I'd imagine that this lake actually gets pretty decently deep for the size. So we're going to just walk over to where we think it's going to be a decent spot to start. And we're going to start chiseling some holes. We have found the juice, maybe. Second hole. Second hole and we got him to finally. Aaron oh, there's one right there. Caught a smaller crappie. We're gonna see if we can catch some bigger ones. Finally worked him off the bottom. Why are they like glued? Oh, there is one. <clears throat> they are, dude. They're like straight glued to the bottom. Oh. Oh, now it's getting serious. Oh yeah, there we go. Perch, dude. A perch, <laughs> what the heck? That's, wow. That's not a bad first perch. No. First perch of the day. Not a bad one. No. Hopefully there's bigger ones in here. Perch and a crappie, we're off to a decent start. Let's see yeah. if we can get some more. Oh, this fish is gonna slam me. There we go. Wow. Yep, just a crappie. Smaller one. They're just chilling down. Found some weeds on the bottom and they're just chilling underneath them. Just a small crappie, but we'll take her. Anytime you can find fish in a new body of water, that is a success. I'm gonna take my tungsten, drop it back down, see if we can catch another. Some fish on the bottom. It's coming up. Got him. What do we got? Feels like a perch. It is a perch. Not terrible size, but not really big. All I'm using today is I'm using a red tungsten. This is from Clam. And then this is a power bait plastic. Not exactly sure on the model of it because I never know what I'm actually using besides uh, that it's green and it kind of resembles like a bug and they're loving it. So we're going to drop it back down, see if we can get another perch. I feel like this lake could have potential for big perch, maybe. We'll have to just stay out here a little bit, a little bit and uh, see if we can catch them. That's the only way to see. Some of them are like super aggressive. They're like chilling in the weeds on the bottom and you can't mark them. And then all of a sudden they just like shoot off of the bottom for your bait. 
It's pretty intense, actually. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, better sized perch. Okay. Not a giant. These fish are being really finicky. Some of them are coming up and just slamming it, but others, you'll have to really work them. But just a decent little perch. Get a release on them right away. See you later. See if we can get some more down there. I had about three or four marks down there when that one hit. But then as soon as you catch one, they just all disappear. Like right now, I'm not marking a single fish on my flasher. But then all of a sudden, they just come out of the weeds on the bottom, and they're there. I'm going to have to switch up what I'm using. They obviously don't want this. There's like eight marks on my screen. Wow, I caught one. Well, it's tiny. That's exactly why they're not biting. It's because of these small little perch. The most finicky fish ever. So, right now we are in the process of actually packing up. We are not quite done with this lake. We're going to try that shoreline over there before we head out because that's the way that we got to go to leave. Caught a few decent crappies. I mean, nothing huge, but we caught them so we know they're in here. And we caught actually some somewhat decent perch. They could have been a lot bigger, but extremely fat for the size of the lake, which means they are eating. There's a lot of food. So there is a chance for a giant, but you only get so much time in the winter. Sun goes down at like four o'clock, so we're not gonna waste our time. Just gonna try that one spot over there and hopefully see if we can catch some fish. Otherwise, we're probably just gonna head it out and go try one of these other small lakes around the area. How do you not just hit that? Oh my gosh. That's a nice one. Well, you just, these gotta be crappies. Look at this, look at this one, dude. Oh my gosh. These are way more aggressive than the last spot. Oh my god. Look at that. Wow. Better? No. But aggressive. Perch, dude. Wow. <laughs> was, Holy cow. That was nuts, dude. Fish was like so aggressive. Just a small little perch. Get him back. So, the other side of the lake definitely seems more aggressive. Way deeper and these fish are just flying off the bottom for this bait. Okay, so we went over and tried this other spot. It is a little bit deeper, didn't really get into the fish. Well, we found a lot of fish, a lot of small perch and they were super aggressive but they wouldn't actually hit the line. So that kind of pissed me off. So what we're gonna do now is just pack up. We're gonna head out and we're gonna go find a different lake Aaron said he knows the juicy spot, so we're gonna go to it, check it out, and see if we can catch some big old crappies, big old panfish in general, and see if we can do it. So stay tuned, guys. We made it to the other lake, ended up grabbing some gas and some oil for the auger, because let's face it, there's like eight or nine inches on all the lakes around here, and nobody wants to chisel that. So we're out here trying a new lake, trying a different spot and we're gonna be seeing if we can catch some fish definitely just want to hook into anything at this point I want to some bass some crappies bluegills perch doesn't matter so we're gonna be set up and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish for you guys okay Aaron's hooked up it's a nice feels nice if this is a crappie it's big there we go First little. fish on the new lake. Just a small little bass. He's hooked. There we go. Get him back. <laughs> <laughs> there he goes. Okay, I'm gonna need new plastic because he just choked that. Okay guys, so little bit of a lighting change, obviously. It is dark now. I am back at home. I am not with the boys anymore. Aaron went home. We actually met up with Brandon and we actually went up even further north and we went and did a little bit of walleye fishing. I, the second lake was definitely a complete bust. 
I mean, we went there, Aaron hooked up with the bass like right away, which was cool to see. Thought he had a giant crappie on. Wasn't the case, so we had ended up cutting it short because you have to get to the lake before dark so you can set up for walleyes. That was the video that you guys saw a couple days ago that we filmed that night. The first lake was kind of a success, mainly because we did catch fish. Nobody's fished that lake before this year. I don't know if a lot of people even fish that lake in general. If you guys are interested in that app, please make sure to go down in our description, check it out. Again, this isn't sponsored, but this app really does help you locate areas that you know, people think are private and they're actually not. You can sign up and get like a seven day free trial or you can pay for the full app and you can get it all year. Either way, great app, check it out. Definitely will help you guys out there wherever you're fishing. I know today's video wasn't extremely exciting like a lot of the videos that Brandon and I post, but like I said, we are posting two or three videos a week now, which means we are gonna have to just record all the time a lot of people say that they just want to come on the journey with us which is exactly what we're going to be bringing if you guys enjoyed today's video please give us a like we we'll really appreciate it it shows us that you enjoy watching our content if you guys want to stay tuned for more please hit the subscribe button as well stay tuned for all the ice fishing videos that we are going to be bringing this winter it is still very early in the season it is the first week of december so we have an opportunity to post a ton of ice fishing videos challenge videos are coming a lot of pan fishing videos are coming more wild fishing videos are coming just stay tuned there's a lot to look forward to until next time guys thanks again tight lines from nb edit